Okay, welcome back to AP playing through Undertale. Um, I'm gonna be less grumpy this time, last time I recorded. It was a long day, it was my first day back at uni, so... And it was a six, seven hour day at that, of just pure furby stuff, so... What do you know? Wasn't the happiest person on the planet, or at least... Wasn't the most aware and awake. However, I'm gonna jump right back in. Last time, um... I think we spoke to the school guys. Can I still get behind that? Oh, come on. I can't get back in perfect position behind that. Cutscene abilities, people. Never do them. Um. Okay. Oh. I don't like the look of that box. It looks like it's covered in blood. So, at the time of recording, the first episode has gone up, and uh, I have had one comment from, I think, Picadobo, um, complaining that I didn't kill everything. I didn't know at the time of recording that killing everything um, is how you get the horrible monster genocide from. I've largely avoided spoilers for this game, except for the fact that I know there is some big... Um, big thing about saving everyone and killing most of everything. I thought it was most of everything. I thought these random encounters in these areas were limited. Um, but now I'm not so, well, now I'm enlightened. So what I might do is start killing everything from here. Actually, nah. What I'll do is I'll go back. Oh shit. I'm bad at bullet hell. So bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, see how far I can go back, and kill everything. Absolutely everything. People want me, well, uh, people want to see someone be a monster. I can be a monster. I'm an absolute prick in games. My entire objective is killing everything, usually. In Fart New Vegas, I went to the one where I did just that. I tried to kill every named character in the game. Oddly enough, the game's a lot less a lot less fun and exciting when there's no named characters left in the universe. Who would have guessed? Can I actually go back? I cannot go back. Okay, so that's 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 over. I guess we're doing a middle of over run where I kill mostly everything then. From henceforth, everything dies. Still done. I'm happy. I killed stupid goat mother. I didn't like that character. Um I just don't like characters that are overwhelmingly nice to you. Never have. Maybe I just don't like nice people. I certainly don't like nice and good things. I have an appreciation for shitty stuff. Alright, so I've got two directions I can go in here. In fact, have I got unlimited inventory? No, I've got quite a few things in there, so I should be fine for now. Oh, another random encounter. Yeah, let's let's blaze on ahead. Fishing rod. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, what if I want to pull that monster? Oh, I was hoping it would do something on the second time round. Can I call it? No, I can call Tommy Hell though. Ha. Yeah, of course nobody can. Fuck you, Tommy Hell. No. Oh. Oh, hi there. Alright, so this is the last thing we did. We spoke to the school guys. So far, these are the most likable characters. Certainly didn't like anything that preceded them. And these guys seem to be, from the few things I've seen, just people saying, like, I love these guys. So, hopefully, hopefully I like them as well. <laughs> okay. 
No, he just wants to be friends with people. He wants people to like him. Hmm. Doesn't even know what he's doing it for. Wait, why did he just run off? Seems like he should have stuck around, captured me. See, Will Nurst, I don't seem to be a massive fan of random encounters. Um, I complained about them. Or I got a bit salty about it at the end last time. I don't like random encounters in games. I might have to go back and correct that note if he actually captures me. Ah, I can observe it from all sides. I don't know how I'm reading it from back there. Very good eyesight, I guess. Actually, no, I'll do what I'll do what he says. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to do anything. Alright there, shifty walking dog. Hmm. Um, you're gonna die. Just like everything else up to this point. Yeah, I thought that would actually work. Uh, that is, that's the first really smart thing I've noticed so far. That right there. I like that. So I'm not sure if I was supposed to kill him. <laughs> okay. Puzzles. That's not really a puzzle. It's not exactly like those Pokemon things where the ice levels completely suck. This is another dog. I imagine he also has vision based movement. Nope. So yeah, I guess I'd have been caught on to the um, monster combat. Certain things you do not move for. Um. No, I don't want to carry you around. Goodbye. You can melt up here. Well, you probably won't melt, but you can enjoy your eternal torment, wishing to do one thing and never being able to do even a tiny bit of it. Over here. Has he gone back? Dude, this guy is fast. He can really book it if he's getting there before me. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, sounds like he built his way into cosplay. Never known a person who is way into cosplay who was sound of mind and body. Hmm. I actually like cold food. Do I have the money for that? I have 131. Yeah, sure. Buy a couple more. I like frozen things, I like ice. I drink every single drink I have of ice. Um, this is obviously something here. I'm gonna play football now? Oh, it's golf. Doesn't respawn, does it? Yeah, it does. Is it actually shrinking as I hit it? It looks like it is. Or at least my eyes think it is. Nah, it isn't. Yeah, sure. Yep, still bad. See how far I can go with this. Okay, I don't mind this guy. And the game just windowed out for some reason. No idea why it did that. Can I not move this one? So it looks like, yeah, again, two baths go down. I bet they both go. Nope, they do not go to the same place. And the game windowed out again. What is it doing? It is plugged in. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, I don't know what's going on at all now. Hmm. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why, but one of my screens turned off, and I think it has to do with the fact that this game is running. I have no idea what could have caused it, but this is the only thing that could have done it. It's the only possible explanation I have of, um, for that. I was actually playing the game on the screen that turned off, so, um, so that's why I had to stop for a moment. But, uh, gonna trim the one. Here's my other screen. Okay. Actually, how is my controller still turned on? Like, it's plugged into the monitor, which hasn't got any power anymore. Hmm. Um, I've never even heard of Junior Jumble, and I know fast words are easy, so I'm going to go with Junior Jumble.
Hmm. Wait, why are cigars and cigs on this? Yeah, I thought the taco would have something in it. What do you know? It has all the all the warm wood in it, like the entire room. This has also actually changed my key bindings for my controller. This is weird. This is very weird. Put it in there? Nope. And there's a mouse in there, presumably. But I can't do anything about that. So I'm just gonna push on. Dog marriage. Hi, Jerry. You're gonna die first. Um, that one wasn't particularly difficult. Do different ones damage him more? I should probably check that. Seems like they might. Nah, I did damage less. So this guy's just a huge bullet sponge. Have we still going down first? I said he would, and he is. Wait, can I actually... Ah, oh, I was gonna say, can I hide down here? Nope. Faster than? I felt like it did. Uh, this battle isn't particularly difficult here. Certainly not the most difficult one I've faced so far in this game. This is kind of set on one spot and easily hit him. The slowest, dullest battle on the planet. Maybe I should have killed the other guy first. Perhaps it would have had an effect. Good riddance. Yeah, the other guy just felt like a stack of bricks. Controls doing goofy things again. I really do need to get a new controller. I think I've dropped my DS4 tool a bit too many times. Alright, so there's a red cross over here. Which, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I thought so. Why is this dog marriage I got warned about? I'm not seeing anything about it. This is a dog marriage. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nah, I'm not gonna move. Could I move? I don't even know. Um... Actually, this is a dog marriage, isn't it? Yeah. These two dogs look like they love each other. They have a mutual appreciation of trying to kill me. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to dodge that. Either way, I have a cruel solution to this. I'm going to kill one of them and let the other walk without her lover. How can she live anymore? Nah, I can't dodge it down there either. That attack is a word of bollocks. Hopefully it isn't that same attack again. Yes, it is. There's a side over here. Nope, not a chance. I think I'm actually making myself take even more damage. I should have killed the other one first. Nah, guess I have to uh, talk to them enough to... to make them want to leave. Of all round for it. This fight sucks. I think I just killed the wrong one first. There's no way to actually avoid that, it kind of just goes through all the screen. Alright, so I can go underneath, it seems, but it's very tight timing. Maybe I should pet it? Yeah, so that is dodgeable. Maybe because I killed one of them it won't let me do this? So what I'll do is I'll hurt it a bit. See if that changes its opinion towards survival. Feels like it's slowed down a bit. Yeah, the timing on that attack doesn't feel the same as last time. Nah. I don't think I'm getting this, I'm gonna have to kill them both. So much for dog marriage. It's not like dog death. Put them both in a sack and throw them in the river. Goodbye. Goodbye, puppies. This isn't that difficult. Ah, oh, it's just because he's an idiot. I'll say we ate some of it. I can't even eat pasta. I'm allergic to it. 
so he can make me all he wants. I like this guy. First character I've actually really liked so far. You, you said you'd do it. Oh, for thanks. You know, I'll get some more great hints. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll have the solution. Nope. Yeah, this one. Now, nah, try and solve the puzzle first. Um. Hmm. What can do that? Just going back over? Yeah, it turns into a triangle then. Does it say to turn them all into crevasses? Yeah, circles even. Alright, so... Yeah, I've, I know the solution to this now. wasn't too difficult. Make him feel better about himself. He seems to have a low self-esteem. Could I have just walked around that puzzle? Ah oh, no, he had spikes. So these two guys kind of feel a lot like regular show characters. I think that's why I appreciate these two. Compared to the others. The very few characters I've seen so far. But I'll say, of course. Alright. I'm gonna say it's gonna give me a super easy puzzle. Like, all of them are gonna be one colour. Can I reactivate it? Nope. But 
poor guy <clears throat> must be feeling pretty crappy about his lame bozzle. Can't I take them? Oh, pa oh that's an awful pun. Alright, I think this episode will go towards the next checkpoint after this. They're not quite off. I should have gone in at a different point. Alright, reset the puzzle. Can it be done from this end? Well, it has to be possible, so... Um... Hmm... This is the only point I can really get to. Yep, down there, down there, down there... like that was the oh ah. yeah he's lazy he didn't build a statue of himself as expected um, so yeah I can figure out how to get them to all turn into I know what I'm supposed to do now shouldn't hit the um, top one of those two. I should just go... Is that possible? Didn't mean to do that. So let's go back again. I know how to solve this one now. I just keep messing it up. I say, keep messing it up. Why am I going for the bottom left? I don't need to go for that. That's... <sighs> right, that's my issue with 2D games. You can't tell which, um, which level you're on, which tile. I think I've messed it up again already, but I'll keep going. Yeah, I messed up again. Who would have guessed? I'm bad at a puzzle. Yeah. I solved it once, and then fucked it all up. Well, I think I started from the wrong spot, so I couldn't solve it. So what if I just did that again? Is it possible to go from here to... No, it isn't. Okay. You watch me be bad at puzzles here. I thought I solved it for a while. Now I'm too stupid to figure out how to actually use my solution. Yep, this was easy. This was real easy and I just wasted a lot of time overthinking it. Hi, this got me. Good work, skeleton man. You made me overthink a simple puzzle. Oh, I had a snow hat then. Can I get another? Nah. That's not a hat. That's just a pile of snow. Amount of eyes, maybe looking out at me. Wait. <sighs> no, not lost. 
Alright, that feels like it's the intended path. So, I should go to the path that was to the top up here. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't even know what a path is. Oh, is this the intended path? They both feel like they could be. I'm gonna miss something here. This dog's gonna die. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Big dog. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, he's gonna die easy. This guy ain't gonna be a challenge. Alright. You tripped me. I'll say that. Goodbye, great dog. You die like the rest of them. So yeah, I guess that's the intended path and there might be something down there then. And now he's gone. Hmm, okay. Goodbye, Sands. This just open or not? Maybe there's a combination I need. No. Um. Can't be so many solutions here. Right, so it's not them individually, it could be them as threes. More than turned off. Um, maybe there's a hint somewhere in here. Hmm. Let's see if these shiny things give any hint. All or all. Fireflies, I guess? Um, no, you don't seem to be giving any hint. You just seem to go going in the same pattern. Which gives no clues. Um, let's see. Well, I'm not sure I'm figuring that out anytime soon. Watch now as I tried every combination except one super obvious one and. Did I try out diagonals? I think I did. But yeah, watch now as I'm missing out a super obvious solution to that. And I tried everything around it except the actual solution. That is, that would be classic me. Like with that, um, that ice sliding puzzle then. It was super obvious, but I kept making mistakes. What's the dog going to do then? Um. Come on, just do it. I wouldn't mind a challenge. He doesn't want to kill me. 
He says he's got standards, so, so he's like me. But I'm sure his standards are like mine. Very low. And they don't particularly make much sense. Oh, I wouldn't mind that challenge, man. The kindred spirits, me and you. Yep, yeah, I understand blue attack. She's been showing me them all session. So I can't do anything with that um, flower there. However, before we end the episode here, I will buy some stuff. Um, a bandana with apples on it, okay. I have 285 gold. Let's go buy a couple. No, I don't like cinnamon. So I'll buy a bunch of biscuits. They seem like a way better deal than these anyway. Take a manly bandana and a tough gourd while I'm at it. This may be it for the episode. Put the stick away first, before I forget to do that. Wait, why is the tough glove in there? Did I already have the tough glove? have a tough glove, really? Did I just waste money on one? That would be a bit annoying. I think I did. What? No. I got too used to the old controls and now they changed. Ah, oh, God. No, not, not another tough glove. I want to talk to you quickly. This place looks like a dumb. Tell me what I can not do here. I think it would be a more extensive list. Um, that. Were those two born as skeletons, or were they humans that were also brothers, or were they just guys who adopted each other's? Each of us brothers. I want to know about that. Hmm. Oh, so those villains were the thing under there before. I don't think you face many struggles up here. I mean, yeah, it's probably kind of cold, but still. There's not much threat. You've got the two, you've got the two skeleton brothers who walk out for you a bit. That'll be it. That'll be the end of the episode. Thanks for joining me. I've been another person of AP, and I'll s this has been Undertale. I hope I'll see you again next time, and as always, keep it juicy.